my beautiful heroes. Happy fact Wednesday. <laughs> That's been a hot minute since I have streamed on a Wednesday. Welcome to Sassy Epic. Jora, Julie, Fizz, Fizz, thank you for gifting a sub to Epic. Epic, welcome back to the superheroes. Happy 15 months. Welcome back, Fizz. Thank you for gifting that sub. Sassy th and Jora, thank you for contributing points to our points goal. Guys, if you have rads to spend, feel free to spend them on our goal. Um, did I miss anybody? Welcome, welcome, guys. How's it going? Cut all the fuck Wednesday. Yeah. Uh, you know. It's, it's a normal day of the week, right? <laughs> um, we're here for more Unabowed today. Let's see if it pops up. It did. Look at that. Um, but first... Yes, so as Sassy pointed out, we are on a new schedule. It won't include Wednesdays. This is an accident. Hold on, hold on. Let's, uh, let's get some sweet background noise. There we go. Uh, yes, so there's a new schedule. It will not include Wednesdays. It's going to be Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Tuesdays and Thursdays are now bumped up to 6 p.m. PST, meaning an hour earlier than normal. Um, this is because, A, like Sassy pointed out, I would like some of you to be able to sleep at a better hour. Um, also, this is because it just fits my schedule better now. It didn't used to um, before working from home happened. I would need the little bit of time in between my nine to five and stream to like get ready, put on makeup, do whatever. Uh, but now I basically am forced to do that in the morning every day for my endless Zoom calls. So I'm already ready. So that hour turned into me like a little in my thumbs waiting to stream. So uh, yeah, we just trimmed it down a little bit and uh, now you guys can get to sleep at a better hour and uh, we can play some fun games. And uh, yeah, it's part of what the fuck Wednesday. <laughs> it, oh, we should have done a what the fuck Wednesday. I should have done that since it's a Wednesday. Missed opportunity. Um, I think that's it as far as announcements. We still have the goal going for the points for the rads. It looks like we're at like 49. I can't see the whole number, 49%. Uh, you guys are killing it, and I am so sorry I set it that high because there's only three days left, and I feel regretty. We will do that. We will do that. Uh, welcome, Air. Hi, hello. How are you? Uh, I'm also brewing something uh, very mysterious and great uh, for September that is an alliteration. And if you can guess it, I will tell you that you're right. <clears throat> and then not reveal any additional information. Uh, but... Uh, Hey, Charles, welcome. How's it going? Uh, but for now, let's do some unavowed. Uh, let me know if the sound isn't great, if it somehow magically decided to change itself. Um, I don't remember why we ended up here last time, but we're here. Yes, an old shanty. Being at sea just reminds me of younger days. So, Julie, well, what did, what did you stop. set yours at? We could use a bit of cheer and a What did I set that. mine at? We need to figure out the middle. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what I set mine at. Oh, 200... 200,000. Way too many. <laughs> way, way too many. Regretty. Um, no, okay. I don't know what I these dudes are on about. In the past. Let us proceed. Let us proceed, yes. Oh! It's time for another cult flashback. Like Summoner, you have made a grave error. Return me to my world immediately. Can we just take in the fact that I summoned a very ripped sea dragon? What is going on? <laughs> what kind of cult was this? What was I doing in my demon days? Oh man. Fishy dude. I think 50,000, I was just about to say, so maybe like 50,000, 75,000 might be a better, uh, better goal there. Cool. Now we know. I'm gonna actually write that down because I will not remember. Oh, I can't get to my stickies. The, the game hurt your call for what the fuck Wednesday. It did. It definitely did. And here we are. Uh, oh, the other announcement I guess I should tell you guys is uh, I kind of sort of maybe kind of decided this last stream and then never really told anybody. Baby announced it. Um, so Saturday, Saturday, this Saturday at noon. It's still at noon. Saturday. 
Art stream. It's an art stream. It's an art stream. Hey, Athlas, welcome. I was just watch. I was watching Nelson. My kind of thing. Love this too. Hey, everyone. Uh, Athlas, I'm surprised that you never. I I swear that you've seen Puzzle Agent before. Um, in case anybody's confused, uh, the wonderful world of Instagram magically led me to the artist that worked on Puzzle Agent today, and he has a bunch of those little gnomes like in his artwork and stuff. And then he had a trash panda artwork was like his top most recent one. It's in the discord under nice things only if you want to go check out his art page, but he had a, he had a raccoon picture and it was fucking funny. It was great. Never even heard of puzzle agent before. Oh, well, that bod is now apparently three years old. And the quality is not great, but I appreciate you watching it anyway. You, oh no, Julie, you can't come to the art stream? Aw, oh, boo. You're the best person to come to the art stream. We made it to 100k? Hell yeah. I call that a win. Complete. <laughs> Nobody donate anything more to it. Puzzle Age is what got me here. Oh, yeah, that's right, Epic. You did find me through that. I think you were like one of the few people that actually came here from YouTube. There's no bad Miro content. I mean, yeah, the quips are the same. This audio isn't isn't quite as good. You must have been a small baby. <laughs> you did puzzle agent? I was. What what year did I just turn this year? I'm now 27. So I was 24. Hmm, math. Hey, Cookie! I'm the most <laughs> important person in the art stream. Duh. <laughs> well, I hope to see you there. I came here when you were playing Gris and Zero Time Dilemma. Okay, so yeah, that was pretty long ago too, actually. Um, what else did I miss? I, somebody had a story. Okay, here. Uh, watching the VOD, I realized that people made this game, also made the game series I really love, the Blackwell series. In the last stream, you went to the village I, Eli, also mentioned a bestower, and they're totally talking about Rosa from the Blackwell games. Oh, that's kind of cute. Like, a little nod to their other games. I love Easter eggs like that. By the way, you guys are over here today. So, <laughs> in case you haven't caught on. I'll have to look those up. How old are they? I, I don't think I've ever even heard of the Blackwell games. Uh. That button. Oof. The answer is real old. The answer is uh, really old. It says its release date was 2012. Why does it look like it was made in the 80s? Is this a, is this just like a late Steam port? If you're up to him, you should totally play him. I mean, I will if I can get them to work on a computer. <laughs> Only another three years and Mira needs fake teeth and a walker? What are you talking about? I already have my walker. I don't have fake teeth yet though. I have one tooth that's like half kind of fake. Because it like grew and it was like deformed and had like this weird ridge bump thing. It was like a double tooth. It was real fucking weird. So they just like patched it up and they're like there now it's a full tooth. No one will know. It works just fine. You can get them on Steam. Okay cool. I was looking at them on Steam. Uh, sometimes old Steam games, like I have a couple Nancy Drew games that just like don't want to play nice with Windows 10 straight up. So, uh, okay, let's talk about, man, I don't even know. Uh, general, even better. This fish mermaid man is uh, a general. I have no time for talk. Okay. You summoned me in the middle of battle. I am the general commander. Without general commander. me, my soldiers are doomed to failure. Um, they were doomed to failure anyway. It matters not. They are under my command. It is no secret our efforts are going poorly, perhaps even futile. They poison our waters. They destroy our resources, our homes, our lives. So we fight. Outnumbered and outmatched, but what choice do we have? Um, uh, that's a self-defeating attitude. We need to change that. We need to bolster your spirits. I only speak the truth. We don't want to die, Summoner. 
If you have counsel to offer, I am listening. Um, oh, this is going to be fun. Or that's how the conversation went. Yes. Was that is this buff one fish of the finger? I cannot Merfolk. say for certain. That's what mermaids look like. Okay. All right. I'm here for it. Um, oh yeah, Athelos, how did that meeting go? Are you headed back into the school? Oh man, I do not envy teachers right now. That shit is a mess. Uh, stop the island from spinning, oh, please. Take it easy. Yes, try and get your bearings. You can lean over the rail if you need to, you know, throw up. I guarantee nobody will notice the smell around here. You seem all right. Good. Um, did I hear you right? That was a mer mermaid? We're talking about mermaids? Talk, yes, the demon summoned it. But how? To open such a path takes tremendous energy. Energy that a demon alone should not possess. Such a thing is impossible. And yet, I spoke it. So it must be true. So, so... I'm gonna hang up on this so mer, mer people exist. Yes, and the less you express your surprise at every supernatural encounter, the faster we can get on with things. No. Speaking of, let us venture forward. We will learn nothing standing here in the rain. Never. It will always be a shock. Always a complete surprise. All right. Well, that was uninformative. I thought maybe there'd be something, but there was not. That's crap, and you know it. Keep your voice down. Oh. I'm sorry. Wouldn't want to embarrass you. Jesus, V. It's not that. You can't be here. Everyone already looks at me funny. Can't you just... Isn't stop? that my partner that I, I shot in the face? Dead. How many are gonna pile up before you do something? This is another flashback? It's a tragedy, Vicky. That's all this is. Right. Sure. I'm getting a drink. See oh. you around, Donnie. Better hope she Bye. doesn't recognize me. You doing all right? Your face went all pale. Nobody's gonna explain that. I was about to say, didn't we shoot this girl in the head? We did. We definitely did. That was our friend that we a hundred percent killed, murdered, dead. Hundred percent dead. Look at this guy playing some fucking Temple Run over here. I was barely out of his teens. He's entranced by his phone. Hello, good sir. Huh? Sorry, I was a bit distracted. No worries. Uh, you waiting for the bus? <laughs> Uh, you must be new to the forest. You look pretty gross there. I couldn't open and help but overhear that argument. Be around, officer. Hey, we made it to 50%. <laughs> I think that that's top. I think we should call it there. I think 50% of a goal that ended up being way, way too fucking high. I'd say that's a win. I say we do it. We should probably ask Boggs if that's okay, but... 51%. 19% more? You really want to make it to 69%? Can you guys hit 69% on the dot? That would be incredible. Um, okay. Nobody. I want to I want to know that's me with anyone. Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> Sorry to tell you, but I did see you arguing. Shit. I mean, crap. Damn it, Vicky. Why do you have to screw up everything? Don't tell Shit, anyone, crap, okay? damn it. I'll never hear the end of it. With Vicky, there's always a problem. And that's all I'm gonna say. Okay. Yep. Wait for Save the bus. to buy a car. Until then, I ride the bus with the plebes. Could be worse. At least cops ride free. Someone call AJ. We have a goal. This is a goal that even AJ can't 100% in one day. Yeah, just passed my exams a few months ago. You from around here? You look familiar. No, don't tell me. I'll figure it out. You gotta work the memory muscle. That's important. Okay. I guess I am. You ever play Trollgate? Trollgate. It's like Gate. digital crack. I created a character when I was like 16. They got me hooked for life. Okay. Right. See you. Great talking to you. Really informative. 10 out of 10. Thanks for that. What do we got? Photos of the old days. You recognize some of the cops looking very young. Oh, I can't click on any of them. Boo. Yes. What is it? Ma'am. 
Sorry. I thought you looked a bit familiar. But no. Not it me. It's just a trick of the light. No, no. Uh. Let's have one of those faces. You've never seen me before. Ha <laughs> ha Certainly not on any wanted posters. Could you be more guilty? I have to say it, but I may have lost the narrative in this game. Okay, I can I can give you a quick rundown. We are Miro. Uh, a year ago, I think it was a year ago, we were working as a cop, and uh, by happenstance, we got possessed by a demon during this particular cop incident, right? We like touched this magic book, demon flew in our mouth, and then we proceeded to shoot our partner in the face, three kids in the face, the owner of a bar, uh, another cop, and then it jumped to a year later, and we ha were ca being captured by these two people that are with me now. Uh, so it's a fire mage, is the dude in the bowler hat, and a daughter of a djinn and a pirate is the other girl. Uh, it's Eli and Madonna. Man, man, Mandana, Manda I can't fucking pronounce her name. And my brain just wants to say Madonna, and I know that's not right. Anyway, um, so these two captured me, and they kind of like are supernatural cops, if you will, so they deal with like supernatural shit. And uh, yeah, that's how you spell it. Mandana? Mandana. Sounds so close to Madonna. Uh... So they're like supernatural police. They go around investigating supernatural things and get rid of things that shouldn't be in this realm, right? They take it back to the void. So they were dealing with me. They exercised the demon out of me. The demon got free. And now we're kind of like going around. It's kind of like the hangover. Uh, only it's been a year of murdering people. So, <laughs> so they exercised me. I had slaughtered everybody in this diner. Um, you know, and I assume the past year had been more of the same. We're slowly getting flashbacks of everything that we did over the past year. Like, we were just talking to the merfolk out at the bay. That was something that happened while the demon was inside of us. Um, we... What else happened? Oh, there we started a cult. Uh, we gathered up a bunch of homeless people and, uh, with a sa with the sacrificial knife and some trees in the basement, we made them feel better. Uh, in exchange for their life force energy. So we, we did something with that. We don't, we aren't really sure. Uh, but we're kind of just like wandering around trying to backtrack and figure out what the fuck we did. So we <laughs> and Mira start a cult, what? <laughs> right? Yeah. Hey, Ryoshi Zero, welcome. Uh, so essentially that's, that's what's going on. Uh, we've joined their group because, um, our life as a cop is fucking over after we're wanted by like everybody in the entire country. Uh, we murdered like a fuck ton of people, so of course we can't be a cop anymore. So we kind of joined their supernatural police force and they were able to give us something called the veil, which is basically just like a magic trick that makes humans not able to recognize who we really are and like makes us non-threatening and like hides Madonna's sword on her back and shit, like stuff like that. It just makes us look kind of like normal ass citizens. So that's what's happening to this lady at the front desk here. Like, she thinks, she's like, maybe I know you, but the magic is interfering with the fact that we literally probably used to work at this precinct. What I'm confused about is the partner that we shot in the face a year ago was literally just outside on the street talking to that cop. So like, the fuck, what's that about? Uh, the flame mage dude consumed all his fire. Yeah, there was like a, the cult was weird. <laughs> Some shit went down with the cult. We made a fire gin thing. I don't know. He's dead now. It doesn't matter. Um, I used to live in this area. Maybe I saw you around. Really? You must have lived here long ago. I thought I knew everybody. Either that or I'm losing my touch. In any case, while I'd love to chat, I have a mountain of paperwork to get through. Unless there's something else I could help you with? Yeah. Um, a woman named Vicky. <sighs> Is she bothering my officers again? That woman just can't let things go. What, what, what can What's you tell me about her? She used to be one of my finest detectives. Now she's not. I feel for her. I really do. But until she gets the help she needs, she needs to stay out of our way. She was now, dead. Unless that's all. What kind Mental. of help? What, what kind of help the does she need? The kind you need a PhD to prescribe medication for? She refuses to get it. 
and it's only making her condition worse. Heaven helps those who help themselves, as they say. It's out of my hands. If I shut up in front of her, she'd probably lose her fucking shit. Eli had to remove fire from him, but he was made of fire. Said it'd be like removing his skin and it'd be painful, but he'd die. Which we wanted. Yes. And we chose to do that. Instead of sending him to the eternal fields. And, uh, I mean, he asked for it. He was begging to die. I I don't know what to tell you. He, he wanted it. I do not it. gossip about my officers. Even suspended ones. I probably shouldn't Please have, but whatever. Please your idle speculation elsewhere. Okay, fine. What Captain do you do here? Enjoy Harrison at your service. Filling up paperwork, a specialty. Your captain? What happened to Captain Laputa? You knew Guy Laputa? He retired. I stepped in, inherited all his paperwork. I always meant to send him a thank you gift for that. A bouquet of cacti should do the trick. Yes, well, if you'll excuse me, I have now paperwork to climb. Um, I feel like if cops had less paperwork to do, they could maybe save more lives, but you know, whatever. Sacks of paperwork, never your favorite part of the job. Of course, you need a PhD. Only PhDs can prescribe medicine. Is that true? I thought only, like, medical doctor. M MD, that one, could prescribe medicine. Yeah, let's go this way. I guess, okay, yeah, I guess that's technically a doctorate. Just a medical doctor, right? Oh, it's Vinny's hey, bar. Come on, you and me, we go back. You think I don't know that? But you keep bothering people. You keep bothering me. She was your wife, you asshole. It was a tragedy, Vicky. That's all it was. I had a husband. You're serious. Dead ass serious. Now leave, Santina. Well, screw you too, buddy. Wait, I had a, hu I had a, I had a husband. Also, I really love the graffiti. <laughs> Again with the just a tragedy. Yes, the deadpan delivery, the blank expression. Oh, Something is definitely amiss. These people have been brainwashed to think that I am just a tragedy. What the hell? What is this about? Storage unit is completely empty. Old box lies forgotten on the platform truck. Let's go to another floor. No? Not today? All right, I guess I'll come. Yes. No. Oh. Oh, let's talk about this. Let's see if they know what the fuck's going on. Indeed, this is encouraging news. Not only is there less bloodshed than we imagined, but your demon failed. It is not infallible. Who knows what other mistakes it has made? Well, I can tell you, starting that cult was probably a fucking Agreed. mistake. It's cool that I can talk to them, like as characters. Oh, it's a spooker. Another ghost. And in a back alley, no less. It's a spooky this boy. Was, they are beyond our help. I know. Ignore the ghost. I get it. This is a highly intellectual chat room. Yes. <laughs> there are like a lot of doctorates in here. So far, I have no idea what the fuck is going on. I literally just explained it five minutes ago. If you are lost, then just... Hold on to your hats and enjoy the ride, my boys. I'm not explaining it again. Locked. Touch. Beep, boop, boop, boop. No, nothing. Okay. Ghost, do you know the password? Lost spirits cannot communicate with the living. Man, I tell you what, one of these days I'm gonna get to talk to these fucking ghosts, I swear to God. Crash? Ah, yes, that passcode. Oops. All right, well, that was a tantalizing alleyway. Let's go to the bar. Hey, new faces, all right. Mm -hmm, yep. Come on in, dry Brand, yourself off. Brand new. Not your wife hey, at all. Uh, that Vicky Santina outside? Her and me, we go back. I help her out where I can, but there are limits. Uh, why does Vicky need your help? If you don't know, I probably shouldn't say. God damn it. You guys are obviously it. not from the neighborhood. Vicky and I work together. Can you tell me what really? happened? Vicky only worked with cops, and I know all the cops in this area. Sorry, but I can't help you unless I know you. Vicky's an Boo. old friend and a good cop once upon a time. 
I ain't betraying that. Even if she has become the neighborhood nut. Aww. Hey, that thing you like, welcome. Hi, how are you? Hello, hello. Alleyways are always tantalizing. <laughs> Sometimes for bad reasons, but mostly for trash. Uh, that's probably a weird comment if you're new here. I apologize. We like raccoons in this chat, so trash pandas. Um, Vicky said something about your wife. This is what I want to know. It was a tragedy. Wow. Yeah, it was a tragedy. That's all it was. Wow. Wow, that's all we get. Okay. Wasn't Vicky yeah, shot? She recovered. Physically, anyway. But Vicky's got enough on her plate without me talking behind her back. How do you just recover from a bullet to the face? I, I'm sorry. Wow. That's supernatural, perhaps. You've seen her around. You know what I'm talking about. Everyone she skeeves everyone out. Dirty. The cops want nothing to do with her. Even her own family's ready to write her off. Mm. The tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise? Darth Plagueis. Uh, a tragedy. What happened? It was a tragedy. <laughs> He's a fucking robot. Um, that's all you have to say about your wife? It was a tragedy. Yep, okay. I said enough. Sorry. Oh, it's a um, Star Wars reference. Ah, hey, oh, fuck. I'm okay. sorry. You're I'm good. not good with Star I'm Wars. I'm fine. It's just what you said. To turn away from your own family. It's the hardest thing in the world. Could be. Vicky made it easy for him. I'll say that much. I should have probably picked that up from the Darth part, but... Whatever. <laughs> so I think you need to not jump to conclusions that you're his wife, man. But I want a, a husband named Vinny who runs a bar. <laughs> My name's on the sign. Ah, uh, so you are Vinny. You're a sharp one. So I have been told. Ha, <laughs> I like you guys. Oh, goth girl? You think goth girl was his wife? Hmm. It's not a story the Jedi would tell you. I see. Uh, okay. We'll just leave then. Can I take a matchbook? No? The drink of the month is Vinny's Vodka Martini. Is it good, Vinny? That man, Vinny, did his emotions read a bit false to you? No, he seemed completely normal. You're not wrong. His wife died. He's been brainwashed not to think about it. He should be grieving. He needs to be grieving. It's just what you do. Uh, flyers in the window advertise quiz night and karaoke. Sucks to be in England right now. So he's like the others. There What's are no others. Janie, this is rotten and you know it. It's a tragedy, Vicky. That's all this is. God damn it. <laughs> Forget it. I'm going for a walk. She's so Come mad. talk to me if you want to do your damn job. It's 2 a.m., 19 degrees Celsius. I think that's cold. I'm going to go with cold. And 80% humidity. It's like being spat on by the air. Ugh. I hate humidity. I hate being sticky. It's gross. Staten Island uh, used to be your beat, but you don't recognize her. She must be new. Oh, yeah, maybe she'll give me Sorry, information. Miss. You shouldn't be here. You need to leave. You're from the local 120? You do look familiar. I am. No, yes, I am a cop. You just got one of those faces. Anyway, I can't tell you much. Harrison's orders. This is just a tragedy. A senseless tragedy. Was that Vicky Santina? You know her? Take my advice and stay clear. She's one citation away from being locked up. What kind of tragedy? It's a senseless one? A tragedy. Uh, can you be a bit more detailed on that? What kind of tragedy? It's a tragedy. That's all this is. Okay, but like, what kind it's, of tragedy? It's... Let me guess. A tragedy? <laughs> a tragedy. Uh... 60 fair. Okay, 60 degrees Fahrenheit. The problem with England is our house... House's, uh, agent... Made with hot weather in mind, so our houses are really good at keeping heat in and not letting it escape. Ooh. 
Yeah, that's not great. Um, I read something that said that it was 125 degrees Fahrenheit somewhere in India recently. Like, what the fuck? What is a human's boiling point? Because I think we're starting to find it. Um, I thought Vicky was dead. Dead? No. She came close, though. The sole survivor of a mass shooting. <laughs> Just Wonder try who and ignore her. Could have done that. Um, it's true Vicky's family won't speak to her? Yeesh. Word gets around, don't it? You think it's easy for the Santinas? They're a cop family to the bone, going back a hundred years at least. Getting suspended like that had to be a blow. It doesn't matter. You don't turn away from your family. I won't argue there, but in Vicky's case, I think it was mutual. Her folks had their anniversary barbecue last month. Vicky was there. Things went down. Wasn't pretty. About that barbecue. Like I said, it was for her folks' wedding anniversary. I don't know what went down, but the neighbors had to call the cops. Which, as you can imagine, made things a bit awkward Probably, at the yeah. next briefing meeting. English people are not... Just not able to handle hot weather very well. Okay, climate is the definition of beige. <laughs> um, I wonder if that's because UK people are always full of like hot tea. So like your insides are so hot, you just can't stand for the outside to be hot. Pretty sure that's what it is. Uh, I like Scottish climate quite well. What's Scottish climate like? Is it really rainy or is that? That Ireland. Um, but is Ricky really the neighborhood nut? Neighborhood Moist. nut. Cool. You've been talking to Vinny. Look, she's going through a rough patch. No question there. But you can't talk about cops that way, suspended or not. It's about respect. You did not seem very respectful when you spoke to Vicky yourself. Damn. That's different. I'm a cop. Called out. Sure. All right. Uh, well. Can I touch the body? No. We're just gonna leave the body out in the rain? That's real great. No caution tape, nothing. Solid. Uh. Seriously? It took forever. Okay, we're not gonna go that way then. Uh, where else can I go? Does this dude man. know anything new after I. Who said that? Was oh. it Vinny? Fucking Vinny. Fucking Vinny! Of course, he's not wrong, is he? <laughs> Any money you see is not knee high. Wow. Like uh, that gif where the person just disappears into the puddle. Kind of like that. Right. I don't know what my goal here is. Hold on. Do I have like a. Is this what the old days were like? Hold on. The old days. You know what I mean. Going into the field every day. A new. Okay. I get 50 years out of this rain. Get some quiet in here. How do I open the menu in this game? What the hell? Is it not tab? Is tab not how we do things anymore? Oh, it's this button. There's a button. Um. Are you talking about the Vicar of Dibley? No? I have no idea. It's just a meme online. Hmm. Hard reader. Oh yeah, that's what I wanted to do. I thought at some point I had like a to-do list. Did I not? I swear to God I did. Uh, maybe it's like a 713 situation? Could it be that simple? Worth a shot. I go up over the fence? No. Uh, Alright, let's talk to our boys then, see What's what up? they want to do. What should we do? Nothing else to say, except I'd r maybe there's some. Okay. Right. We want to keep asking somebody about Vicky Santina. Got it. Um. What else haven't we asked? Besides Vicky Santina, her fucking self. Where did she go? Oops. Hey, Foster, welcome. How's it going? Hello, hello. Vicky Dibley is the gif for the woman's jumping in the puddle and uh, that's really deep comes from. Oh, okay. Well, the more you know, then yes. 
There's also one where like um there's a dude jumping in like a pothole puddle in a parking lot and it's way deep. Just took a nap. Oh, that sounds wonderful. I wish ugh, I wish I could get a nap in. Yes. What is Naps are the best. Not pleased. All right. Yes. He's not going to tell me shit. Evening turned against I haven't turned against her. Wait. You're related to Vicky? Fine. Now you know. She's my sister. I'm not trying to make a big deal out of okay. that, okay? Vicky's been nothing Dude, but trouble weird. ever since she got shot. Uh, shot by who? Who would have done that? Who would shoot a cop in the face? Who does that? Definitely not me. Hey, you okay? Your eye is twitching. It was during the Eternox club shooting. You know about that, right? It was a massacre. You know how one person got out alive? News. That was Vicky. The perp got her in the shoulder. Vicky still isn't clear what happened. Pretty sure but I got her in the whatever face. Whatever went down, it messed her up in the head. It was messed up? It. We don't know. She just got weird, angry, all the time, twitchy, paranoid. She keeps bothering people with questions, trying to solve cases that we closed a long time ago. Is a nap if you wake up in the middle of the night? If that's the case, then I took like four naps last night. <laughs> Eight to ten hour naps are the best. I I agree. Uh, what should try to reopen? Just tragedies. That's all they are. Each of them. Oh, just got a tragedy. Him. Okay. Vicky's such a problem. Why don't you stop She's her? She's Santina. That name still carries some weight around here. At least until she takes it too far, which she will. The way she's going. You sound almost ashamed of her. Your own sister. Hey, man. You think I haven't tried talking to her? Tried to get her counseling? Whatever? She won't listen. I feel bad for her, but she's gone somewhere none of us can follow. I'm not getting dragged down with her, and that's a fact. If she wants to live in Vinny's crap basement, that's her business. Hmm, Vinny, I need to see her basement. Stream crashed. Aw, Falstro, all you missed was that we said welcome, and we were talking about how great naps are. What do you think? Are there any tragedies today? Mm, no, no, I think it's a fairly normal day. No tragedies. No, no, none of that. Not today. <laughs> um, what about that See, barbecue? That's the kind of crap I'm talking about. My parents do a barbecue every summer for their anniversary. All the neighborhood cops go. So, of course, Vicky has to show uh -oh. up and cause a scene. Gets into a screaming match with Captain Harrison. I mean, the captain. They almost threw hands. I, think I get it. that Vicky went through a lot, but you just don't do that. You coming up? Come on. There you go. There you go. We got a kitty cat. We got a fluffy boy. Look at this boy. Look at this big old boy. That's a big old boy. He is here because he hungers. <laughs> um, lives under Vin Vinny's bar. Look at this dude. <laughs> yeah, the big dude. Since her severance package ran out, that's all she can afford. Yeah. All of us Santinas are cops. Our dad, grandpa, my two big brothers. It's a family thing, at least until now. I mean, it depends on how long the nap was, I suppose. It's not the middle of the night, though. Okay, so you took normal nap. I think that's the first time Cappy's looked at the camera. We usually see tail. You do usually get the butt end, yes. Why are you here, fluffy butt? What you doing? Um, how about that barbecue? I told you, Vicky and the captain almost threw hands. I'm trying to pretend it didn't happen. Feed me, human. He has food. He's just being a drama queen because he wants his treats. You are like three hours too early, my boy. Um. Okay, right. I think I'll go talk to the captain about the fact that she tried to punch yes. what her is at the I'm barbecue. Let's talk about this barbecue business. Everyone's a gossip, aren't they? Yes, it's true. It was my fault. I shouldn't have risen to her. But Vicky has a 
the way. She gets under your skin, needling you until you snap. Useful on the job, not so much in civilian life. What did you argue about? You might oh. have noticed she's been acting erratic. Oh, are so we she leaving? was asked specifically no. not to come to the party. She came anyway. She took a handful of the party invitations and burned them on the grill. I've never seen anything Traumatic. so petty in my life. So I tried to make her leave. She was looking for a fight. I almost gave it to her. I should have known better. As I said, Vicky was looking for. She took a handful of the party invitations. Handful the invitations and burned them. Burn them. That's kind of bizarre, isn't it? Yes. Well, if you'll excuse me. All right. Let's go talk to Vinny now. With this new set of information. Is he a drama queen or is he clip queen? Definitely drama. A hundred percent drama. I don't think he has the thumbs to make a clip. Hey, yeah. Uh, I think he lives in your basement? Yeah. I never use the room, so I rent it out sometimes. The door's got a keypad lock. But since I let the renter choose the combo, there aren't any problems. So yeah, that's what's in the alleyway. It's awkward as hell, but what can I do? Let her live in the street? Why? Why? As long as she uses the alley entrance and doesn't bother my customers, Why are you rubbing the problem. microphone? What are you doing? <laughs> I love how all you guys ever get is like squirrel tail. <laughs> um, Vicky home? She's never home. She only comes home to sleep. What she does all day is her own business. Can um, I look around her room? No. What a thing to ask. Why would I let you do that? <laughs> uh, Vicky's situation is my fault. I want to help her. You think you did? You can't blame yourself. Vicky's situation ain't anyone's fault but Vicky's. But what if I got in there though? And why would I? Um, it's your wife's murder. She was a, a tragedy. That's all it was. Stop trying to make this more than it is. All right. Well, that didn't help. And what? Uh, something's going on here. I want to get to the bottom of it. You think that'll convince him? It's, it's very convincing. You sound as crazy as nothing okay. is going on. It's just a tragedy. That's all it is. And what? All right, we got one more try. Are you, uh, we're trying to solve these murders before there's there another one. Murders, lady. I told you, it's just a bunch of tragedies. That's all it is. I think the merman did something to him. Um. What are you up to? Why do you want so many chin scratches? Oh, and we're done. One scratchy too many, and now he is very angry. I ain't going anywhere. Gotta love animals. If you're mad, you should go. Go on. Ah. Go on. Get. Hurry, animal. I don't know why he does that. Tragedies. No, no, no. No, no, no. Murders. Uh, okay. So, if she lives in the alleyway, then she's responsible for the code that we need. Mm-hmm. wonder if her brother would know? Wait, wait. No, not the alleyway. Not the alleyway. You know the code? Evening, man. Right. No. Hmm. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. No, wait. Wait. <laughs> no, wait. Yes. So many different mechanics I just tried to do. Uh, what do you the think we should do? Tina appears to be the center of the goings on around here. I would very much like to speak to her. Well, where is she? Should we just go knock on the door? Okay. You think she's just back here? Can we just rap on it? We just we just note that it's locked. What's up? What do you, you think we should my do? Powers are at your disposal, right? You need anything roasted or mm. fire red? You let me know. Okay. Right. You are going to set this trash um, on fire. You're gonna set the ghost on fire. You're gonna set um, the keypad on fire. The um, door? Okay. Um. Um. <laughs> Not helpful. The storage containers. You set them on fire. Um, um, 
Um. 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 <laughs> do you think he's confused as to what to do? Not entirely sure that he, uh... Set myself on fire! Why would I- why did I just go into the bar? I did not click on that. Go this way. Okay. My dude. Set this body on um, fire. Don't know what- Um. Um. Don't know what I'd- Okay. <laughs> Trying to set the lady on fire did not work. Can we summon the merman? Light this tree on fire. Maybe we light the paperwork on fire. Um. 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 I mean, there is a fire extinguisher, so anything we set on fire would be fine. Hmm. What's up? You know my. Right. What? What do we need to set on fire? Something in this dude's bar, maybe? Um. Um. <laughs> the joy of dialogue. Dialogue puzzle games. I asked. Um. Yeesh. Word gets around, don't it? You think it's easy for the Santinas? They're a cop family to the bone, going back a hundred years at least. Getting suspended like that had to be a blow. It doesn't matter. You don't turn away from your family. I won't argue there, but in Vicky's case, I think it was mutual. Her folks had their anniversary barbecue. Mm hmm. Sure. What would you guys set on fire if you could? Set that cop on fire? I tried that. I did try that, actually. Uh, an amusing insult I heard was, set yourself on fire and mate with a bomb? What does that even mean? There are so many, like, very bizarre British phrases. Can we set this ship on fire? Can I summon the merman? Hmm. Evening. Right. Nothing new there either. Set the ghost on fire. Bad the door. Crash. Anybody have any ideas? Mm -hmm. I am open to it. Set the water on fire. Oh, man. Set the building on fire? Nope. Apparently not. Dare I say it? Do we need to cheat for the first time? Alright. Uh. Oh, we got some caps log on. See, we'll see what we can do here. Um, we're on this one. Oh no, did we go? We went to the wrong place. Um, Fuck is Logan? We're missing an entire person. Who's Logan? Um. Oh. Hey, yeah. Uh, I ain't going. Uh, not, not going down how I thought it would, like at all. You know, my. Uh, oh, that's not what right. I need. Let me back out of here. 
What in the world is this? Oh, ho, ho. This lady is supposed to tell yes. us some information. As I said, Vic she took a handful of the party invitation. I do not gossip. Please. Or maybe not. Yeah. Whatever. We're missing an entire person. I don't know how to. I don't know how to do anything with this. Seriously? Hmm. All right. Well. Uh. Interesting. Okay. What's up? Uh, can you fire read something for me? Sure, but maybe we should get away. Okay, fine. Right. Fine, fine. We'll go to the shady alleyway where you can read your fireballs in peace. Gotta be so secretive. All right. What's up? Sure. What do you need? Uh, Vicky burns something at the barbecue. Sure. And you see it. Way. Join us for a barbecue. Frank and Abby Santina's anniversary barbecue, May 25th, 6 p.m. Santina's backyard. Hmm, okay. Huh, okay. So it's, uh, uh, 0525. Seems pretty typical as these things go. I used to, of course, these. 0525. Hey, AJ, welcome. Hello, hello. Am I allowed to rage at post people in here? Yes, by all means, please do. USPS lost all three of my high school yearbooks recently, so feel free to complain as much as you want. American numbers. Mm, the smell. Quite unpleasant. Yes. Be sure of one thing, Santina. You are not insane. You are not the one who's crazy. The key is to look under the crazy. Don't forget. Oh, okay. I've taken that butter knife. That's mine. now. Nope. Lots of liquor bottles. <laughs> Guy Lup. Cuda, retired, where is he? Oh, so he kind of went missing. Marlene DeMarco, found an alley, missing one week, chewed to pieces. Johnny Vitarella, uh, found on dock, missing four days, heart torn out. Me? Question marks. Um, Pam Prowl, found in bathroom, missing six days, throat crush. Russ Stefani found on street missing one week head bashed in. Okie dokie. Some murders. Some run of the mill murders. We're not crazy. Those and personal effects fill of damp cardboard boxes. What is this? Uh, dear Mrs. Santina, notice of termination from the police department. We are deeply saddened to inform you that your position at the Santa the Staten Island Police Department is suspended due to your violation of Officer Code of Conduct Section 3A. We have no choice but to end your employment with us effective immediately. Please turn in your badge and associated IDs to Captain Harrison. We are aware of the extraordinary, extraordinary circumstances surrounding your situation. We agree to revisit this decision pending psychological evaluation. Something. I think it is my no squishmallows, but I'm not entirely sure. Oh no! Apparently arrived at my house on the 24th of July. I never heard about it. I've been checking my mail daily for the last two weeks because I was expecting a whole bunch of deliveries. Today, on August 13th, I got a notice to pick up a delivery that had apparently uh, arrived on July 24th. Notice said that if I didn't pick it up by the 11th, they would send it back. So that's a fun thing. Oof. 
Now I've been on hold with the customer service for 25 minutes whilst I wait to try to talk to someone and try to sort this out. Oh my god, that blows. What? Who the hell sent out the notice on the 13th to get your shit by the 11th? Your postal service almost sounds worse than ours. That's some bullshit. Um, lots of empty beer bottles. Okay, I think that's it for here. Ugh, what a way to live. You live in a basement too, as I recall. <laughs> yeah, but mine's cozy. Cozy, oh, okay. And my neighbors are less, uh, dead. Don't move, any of you. Okay, now turn around, I nice and come slow. come out of your house. Holy shit. It's you. It's fucking you. Hello, partner. You're gonna kill me. Give me one reason why I should she's gonna kill me. in your head right now. Uh... Wasn't me, I swear. Wait, you recognize me? Are you serious? You fucking shot me! Me and the others! I've been watching you. You've been sniffing around, asking about me? And nope, don't know what you're talking, talking about. to that thing behind you! It's not a thing. It's a human spirit. You think I don't fucking know that? Marlene DeMarco. Missing for a week, then found dead in this alley, arms and legs chewed Aww. to pieces. There's been no investigation. Nobody even wants to talk about it. Not the cops, not her husband, nobody. Must nobody be Vinny's wife. You. So tell me, what is going on? I wanted to be the wife. Whatever. You are void touched, Vicky. Like you. Don't insult me. Last year, you put me in the hospital. Got me right in the shoulder. Spent a month in recovery. Things were fine, but when I got out, everything was weird. Weird? Yeah, weird. Shut up and listen. Jeez. Twelve years I've been a cop. You think that means something? No, I'm out on my ass. Everyone thought I was crazy. Me, bodies piling up all over town, and I'm the crazy one. Nobody cared. Not the cops I used to serve, not even the victims' families. It was like they didn't even notice. I thought I was the only one. But you guys notice, don't you? Yes, because we're like you. Or in touch, we're not as I had said. Alike. No, here's what's gonna happen. We're all gonna march down to the police station. Oh, this will be fun. And you're gonna tell the captain everything. Tell her what you can see. Convince him I'm not crazy. Get them to give me my badge back. Uh, you're not crazy. That's what we've been trying to tell you. Fine. Convince them that. You and the rest of your murder cult. Murder cult! The term murder cult is murder a cult. falsehood. Murder cult. This woman was possessed. We officially got she called a murder cult. No crime. Oh my god. I'm sorry. It's a dream come Who true. I am Madonna. Look, Madonna, I could care less what you guys are. We're going to the station. No, we are not. Stay right there. For oh, real? She's gonna sword fight Please her ass. Lower your weapon. We wish no harm upon you. This has got to be a joke. Drop that thing before you hurt yourself. I am a servant of the unavowed. We are the wall against the oncoming darkness. Final warning. Lower this your so be great. weapon now. We have vital duties to perform. You are in our way. You asked for it. You've got to be fucking kidding me. Those we skills. We need not be enemies. Please, join us. Help us. Perhaps we can help you in return. I want... I just want... I want to be normal. I, I don't want this. You want to help? Stay the hell out of my way. And stay the hell away from me. Oh, her eyes well. and mind are closed. She could be a valuable asset if she would but open them. Mmm, murder. <laughs> Tell him it was a tragedy. Yeah, we just pulled that shtick. Maybe she'd leave us alone. Um, okay, now, now what do we do? Do we try to go get her badge back? We have a butter knife, so there's that. I don't know. I don't know what we would use a butter knife on. Evening, man. Right. Okay, nothing to talk to him about. What do we need a butter knife for? All right, boys, what do we do now? What's up? Just so you know, Vicky's apartment is still unlocked. 
We could still search it hmm. if we wanted to. Right. There's something else in there that we missed, I take it. Just hop right back on in, why not? Let's take the butter knife and use it on the I'm wall. Not sure what I don't, I don't know what to do with the butter knife. Mm. In the electrical socket. Ah, yes, to butter my bread, yes. Mm hmm. It's a Buddha that needs to be spread? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna try zooming in on the wall first. Oh! Key card! That's what's up. Okay. Um. To a storage facility. Keycard to a storage facility, yeah? Let's see here. Eat boops. Yeah, boy. You guys must think I'm stupid, don't you? She's just fucking lock us in Breaking here. Breaking into my apartment, going through my stuff. Just lock us don't in you here. remember what a class B felony is, partner? Or Rude. have you forgotten everything I taught you? Sure. Open the I'll door. Get right on that. Right after the cops get here. You said you'd leave us alone. What is this? No, I told you to leave me alone. Breaking into my storage unit, kinda the opposite. This will not end well. Trust us. Bullshit. There are laws. There are rules. You guys are spitting on them. I'll just Donnie. melt the door down. You got my call. Thank Christ. Hello, Vicky. Christmas came early. Please tell me brother. someone can make us invisible. In there. Because Keep that would be really fucking just funny. For you. They're armed, so you should call for backup. Just make sure you get credit for the caller. Um, Donnie, you gonna move your ass or what? Donnie. Oh shit. Donnie, what the holy fuck? You were killed here. Unknown shooter. It was a tragedy. That's all it was. Donnie, no. Oh man. A tragedy. Just a tragedy. Donnie, you guys think it would be a you. tragedy? Snap out of it. Just a shit. I don't want to do this, Donnie. Well, there's no time to go through this stuff. All right, calm your tits. We'll leave. That panel is embedded in the wall. We will not. Butter knife to the rescue. Man, I'm keeping this butter knife. This has been handy. Uh, sprinkler door open. With door close. Fix those boys. Fix those boys up. No? Did you really think that was gonna work? Man, I don't know. My package is already back in the mail stream to the sender. No! That is some absolute bullshit. Tell them they're paying to get it back to you. Fucking hell. Um, okay, let's cross sprinkler with door open. Because then if we set off the fire alarm. Um. We might be able to get it to open. How did you? Don't worry about Magic. it. Whatever, just stay back. You'll get yourself shot. Oh, ye of little faith. Whoa. Guns. So combustible. Super combustible. Damn. It's safe. You can all come out now. You too, Vicky. Is... is he okay? Oh. He'll be fine. I... Shit. What a mess. We're on your side, Vicky. I... yeah. I guess I can. I... I'm sorry. You saved my life. Thank you. It's been a long year, but that doesn't excuse anything. I was a grade-A jerk. Your eyes are open to the truth now. That is all we can hope for. The truth? Right. Were you really possessed when you killed all those people? When you shot me? Um... Yes, it wasn't me. It was something else. It was, wasn't it? This is all crazy, but... I believe you. I still got an ache in my shoulder that won't go away, but 
I believe you. So, are you with us? Someone brainwashed my brother to kill me. You don't mess with two Santinas and get away with it. Vi Vic? Donnie. It was Harrison. Harrison? Captain Harrison? She told you to kill me? How? Why? It's okay, Donnie, but you're sure. Joy Harrison. That Captain Harrison? She said, meet her on her boat when it was done. Said it was a tragedy. Just a tragedy. Harrison. Huh. Dirty Captain. Stay safe, Donnie. Your sister has business to take care of. You guys just, coming with me or what? Just um, face down on the floor. With Donnie? Help him. Um. Eli, Eli, stay here. Sure. I'll make sure he's okay. We'll take the girl with right. the bullet, bullet go. fighting sword. She's getting away. Move it. Hey ya! Stop the boat, Harrison. That's Captain Harrison. You Santinas. Never any respect. Fuck respect. Stop the boat. And the language. You get that from your father. Although your mother isn't much better. Stop the fucking boat. Whatever you say. Just lower that gun. There. It's getting dramatic. Starts talking. Oh, it's you. You were one of our own officers and the Eternox shooter to boot. You've eluded us for months. I should be impressed. I can't More exactly like a judge year. you. Not after everything that I've done. What have Nothing you done? Nothing that matters much longer. He is coming. Who is coming? The general. I met him out here, on the water. He gave me this power to manipulate minds. Man, this is some fucking. Oh, oh what's the name of that movie? movie? Convinced old Laputa to take early retirement. Some shape of water shit. Price. Fucking the merman, isn't she? Um, we think it might be Julie's book. I caught that. Um, return to center means going back overseas. That sucks ass. I don't know what it is though, and neither do the post people. All I can see is that it cleared customs on the 21st of July. I can only see the same thing. Neither of us know where it came from or where it's going back to. Oh man. I wish I knew more about Australian Post so I could offer some help, but I got nothing. Essentially the package did time travel if it went to the post office before you were even notified. This is kind of familiar because uh, I got an email. I bought some of Luckless's uh, t-shirts, the carry-on ones. Uh, I bought some Luckless t-shirts and designed by humans emailed me. They're like, hey, it shipped today, August 6th. And then it said estimated arrival day, August 5th. And I was like, oh, you expect it to get to me in the past. It will get to me by yesterday. How good of it. <laughs> like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> and it doesn't have a tracking number either. So I'm kind of just like waiting for it. Which fucking sucks because you can't trust anybody and it'll probably never show up. That's how I that's actually how I ended up with two of this shirt. This is another streamer shirt. And it didn't show up and it didn't show up and it didn't show up and there was no tracking. So I contacted them and I was like, I think my t-shirt was like lost. I never got it. And they're like, oh, okay, like we'll dispatch another one. And then I ended up with two. Like three months apart. It's just, the mail system is not great. Uh, the general, is he a giant sea creature? By, by chance? Know of him. Then you know that he needs soldiers. Lots of them. His people can't fight on land, you see. He needs us for that. That was the deal. He gave me this power, I would send him people. For his army. People? Yes. He would send them back, eventually. In pieces, usually. Pieces? Then I would use my new power to... Cover it up. For sure he's Eaton people. Hey, Wilkes, welcome. Hi from the UK. A lot of UK people today. <laughs> uh, any chance of a brief intro to Unavowed? Sure, we play as a former cop who got possessed by a demon, murdered a shit ton of people for a year, and then joined a supernatural police force to uh, try to figure out what the fuck we did over that past year. Um, what our demon did, the terrible things we started, uh, okay, AJ, feel free to riot. Um, so, right, currently we are on a case 
where we talked to a giant merman and the giant merman has apparently made a deal with this cop and brainwashed her into giving her humans for him to do some weird shit with and then he like spits them back on land and then we have to she she was brainwashing people to make them forget that those people like ever really existed yeah, pretty straightforward. It's not too convoluted. We just don't know. We have like a gap in our memory. We don't know what happened over that year. So we're kind of just uncovering it. There's some flashbacks, stuff like that. Um, I give it 10 out of 10. I like it a lot. So. Oh, uh, Wilkes, thank you for the follow. Welcome to Miro's Heroes. I hope you enjoy your time here. Welcome, welcome. Love a chat for the new hero, guys. Europe is boiling and many people can't sleep. Mira oh, is that the reason? I see. I'm so sorry for all of you suffering in the UK. Um, he sacrificed people, then brainwashed the police to ignore it, ma'am. Friends, family, anyone who would question the status quo. He gave me no choice. He would have killed me otherwise, but it could have been worse. The general wanted hundreds. I only gave him a dozen. Yeah, you're a freaking hero. You made me think I was crazy. You made everyone think I was crazy. So tell me, you gaslighting bitch. Damn. Why single me out? I, I don't know. I didn't want to, believe me. But I can't touch your mind. The general's power. You're immune. I'm Ooh. white. She is void touched, as we are. Your power will not work on us. I knew that as soon as he walked into my station. I knew then I'd have to take action. You sent my brother to kill me. I thought you'd leave, Vicky. Then you just move away in shame after everyone shunned you. But no, you just dug in deeper. Instead of moving away, you move down the block. Typical Santina, like a dog with a bone. You just won't let That's a good go. cop. Uh oh. Here comes hot mer daddy. I hate that those words came out of my mouth. I hate it. It tastes bad. Summoner, you have returned at last. Do you intend to fulfill your promise to me? Uh, what? I didn't do that. I didn't do any of that. Mm -mm. Uh, you're confusing me with someone else. That was not me. I admit something about you is different. Mm -mm. And yet you have the same face. I know that's weird, Sassy. The same scent. The same voice. No, you are the summoner. You instructed me to bond with a human. One with ambition. And they would bring me an army. I have done so. And yet, I still wait for an army worthy of the name. So I ask again. Where not please. Where is my army, Summoner? My people continue to get slaughtered by the hour. I don't want to call him that. Can we give him a name, please? Can he get a name? Look at those chiseled abs. Oh, no, now it's a thing. <laughs> Welcome, Amp. How's it going? Um, Like a 26-pack? Uh, Yeah. Yep. It... It's always bothered me when you get into like mer people. Like, where is the genitalia? Where is it? No, it was Squishmallows. Oh no. Well, at least you know what it is, AJ. So you can call the company and be like, yo, stop it. Make it stop, make it come back. Maybe they can do something on their end. I thought mer daddy is definitely a great intro. Uh. I feel terrible that I said those words and now it's a thing. Did you get the trash panda, AJ? Mira demands to know where the genitalia is. I mean, for real though, like... <sighs> Do snakes have genitalia? Like, I just don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, uh, There's one statue. There's one statue in the world somewhere of a merman, merman statue. Let me see where I find it. This is probably not gonna end well for me. My Google searches, oh uh, Lord. Yeah, hey, I found it. I found it. That wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. Um, okay. This statue of this merman shows what it might be like, what it might be like this is going to be a link from hell. There you go. The full statue is actually kind of cool. But, uh... There you go. That is what it would look like.
I believe. That, but that's like the only time I've ever seen it depicted. Is in that statue specifically. The FBI would like to speak to you. I'm okay with that. Bring it on. Um, whatever the deal you made, it wasn't me. Lies. Lies Aerodynamic. Mm -hmm. you are the one who Fluid me. dynamics. You are the one who promised me an army. It's for swimming. You just toy with me. Why? Um, that's a, that's a very good question, actually. You don't know. You play with the lives of my people. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Wilkes. Know? You maybe right. should have waited place. a bit longer. I can totally understand if you want to unfollow. Oh, oh, it's a boat chase. It's a boat chase. What are we supposed? To, what are we supposed to do? Oh God. It has been a long time since I fought a battle at sea. Oh boy. I quite relish the prospect. Do you want to stab him? It's stab him with something. How do we kill this thing? Flesh and blood. My sword will pierce its belly like anything else. Okay, well. I spent my early childhood. No, now is not. We must send that creature home. Yeah, I. Yeah, yes. Stab it. Strike the creature from. Throw the butter knife. The general is a hardened warrior. I doubt a butter knife will do much damage. No butter knife. Got it. Uh. Madonna stares at the general without blinking. What the fuck kind of subtitle is that? Okay, all right. Uh, the general said. Can you go faster? I was possessed. Don't worry about it. Remains. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be here right now. You're just lucky the general chose me. Anyone else would have seen hundreds dead by now. Oh no, it's your mom, Squishmallow. Oh. Makes me decide. Did she maybe not know what it was? Like, did she not know she had a package coming? So she just told them. Like, take it back, it wasn't hers or something? Chiseled abs are better than butter knife? Apparently. Apparently they are superior. Search the deck. Search the deck? Go oh, faster. Uh, oh, raise, raise the... Yeah! Now we're talking. Now we stab him. Lady, come on. Is she crazy? Get out there and stab him. Jin child, I have no quarrel with you. She should be not out there. Nevertheless, stab him. You have one. The creature is still out of range. Here, we gotta slow down. We gotta slow down a little bit. Oh. All right. I guess I'm taking all the gas. Can we? We'll stop. Oh! Poked him right in the belly. Was this your plan? He didn't like that. Bait me into battle to fight me. <laughs> One poke, dead. <laughs> you attacked us, bro. You went back on your word. What would you have me do? Not you try to kill leave us? This world, or you can perish. You give me the choice. You show me mercy. Yes. We are aware of your desperation and that you were taken advantage of. We are not without sympathy. I see. Very well. I accept your terms. I will leave. Jesus, sassy. I'll never return. Uh, what about Harrison's brainwashing yeah, abilities? Good question. Joy Harrison and I are bonded. She will share my power. Is some as shape long of water shit. Speak up. Can't hear you. As long as I am alive. Right. Um, what guarantee do we have you won't come back? Indeed. The bond between you and Harrison is still in effect. That bond enables you to traverse between our worlds, true? She is my anchor in this world, yes. And I have accepted your terms. I will... I'll honor. let him go. He... You speak the truth, but your people are desperate. You are desperate. We require an act of good faith. Break the bond, then go in peace. I cannot. It is permanent. It remains in place until either I die or she does. Oh, what, what? Yeah, take her with you. Great, more shape of water. Just take her to your realm. Then her anchor will be in my world. I will be unable to return here. And we'll be free of her brainwashing ass. An elegant solution. I feel like Almost poetic. she's gonna have something to say about you that. You must be joking. I'm the innocent one here. Innocent? You accepted my offer. Quite eagerly, I might add. 
The only innocents were the ones who suffered. So, tell me what you wish. Joy Harrison would make a fine soldier. Uh, I watched this whole game twice and I don't remember how it ends or what to do. That's good. Well, or is that bad? Does that mean the game wasn't memorable? Or is that great because then you get to relive it multiple times? Although I feel like with any game, I would only remember like the major plot twists. Send her. Bye, Felicia. Oh, you mean Harrison. I sent Harrison. I get rid of Harrison too. Hmm. So I'm definitely sending him back. I'm not just going to kill him because uh, I feel like he <laughs> Well, thank you for the biddies. Thank you for the ab stab biddies. <laughs> That's a good hashtag. Love that. Um, I feel like he will honor his word to like leave because he was chasing us down because we didn't keep our word. Like, he's a man of honor. He got miffed about that, right? Enough to try to kill us. So I feel like if we send him back, he'll stay over there. The question is, do I secure it with, uh, with Harrison or do I just let him take his word and keep her over here? Was she get like eaten over there? Oof, I don't know what happens to people when you go over there. She did get like 12 people murdered. Hmm. What should we do? Take, take her. Take her with you. Eris says do it. I'm doing it. What? No. Rip. Move it. Whatever happens over there couldn't happen to anyone nicer. The bargain's been struck. I will have one new soldier for my efforts this night. Damn you all! This is going. Oh! Screw you, General! And screw your war! I hope your people die! I hope they choke! Jesus! The bond is broken. When I return home, I will well, have no path back here. Then. That was unexpected. Peace? Peace. Yes. My people need me, with or without an army. Oh boy. Why? I pray we will not meet again. Bye, Mer Daddy. First in your class. Color me impressed. I would never hear the end of it if I wasn't. Still, any father would be proud. There she is. Vicky! Vicky, is it true? That did Harrison escalate quickly. me to kill you? You don't remember? I'm... Um, not sure. Last thing I remember, I was talking to Harrison. Then I'm waking up in the storage room with a splitting headache. I got up and found this guy. He told me to wait here for you. What happened? Where's the captain? She's gone. She's not coming back. Captain I, is dead. I don't know why, but I think that's a good thing. You have no idea. Right. I yes, don't know, I Charles. Know better, but I do know one thing. I'm, I'm sorry for everything. So, you guys have a wizard clubhouse or something? A wizard clubhouse. We have a headquarters, yes. How do we get there? Magic carpet? No, the ferry, and then the subway. Yeesh. Well, uh, let's jet. The 10.05 ferry's leaving any minute. Hey, we got Vicky on our team. Um, so, just, just so that everybody knows, the real Mer Daddy is definitely... Oh, I dropped my pen. Definitely the hot mermaid dude whose name I don't remember from Breath of the Wild. Just saying. The prince? I, what was his name? That was the real mer daddy. Sidon. Yeah. That boy. Baby. Sidon. <laughs> That's the real mer daddy right there. Um, I don't know what they're gonna do with the captain's body. They're gonna find that. They're gonna be probably maybe miffed. Wait, I wanna go back up. Can I go? Back up to my bedroom? No? Shit. Damn it. Hold on. Can I just. Oh, you really just can't go back up there? Okay. Please do not. It took. I didn't mean. I want to talk to you, not touch your things. Good evening. I trust you are rested after last night? 
the dad that and that Little I Mermaid. Oh my God, gross! He always leaves me <laughs> so old. It was like old times. No, not not the dad from Little Mermaid. No trident. No. Mm -mm. Uh, old times. Old times. My childhood at my mother's knee, learning from the best. Your mother was a gen as well. She was not formidable, but merely human. I do not often dwell on the past, but I dare not forget it. I am the daughter of the pirate queen of all. Pirate queen. And her legacy lives through me. Even Speaking better. Which, I must continue my training. I will see you at the meeting. What the fuck? Not only is her mother a pirate, she is a pirate queen. That's Maybe. incredible. Um, talk about the end of What is your question? I don't think I've asked this girl any questions so far. We got, we got words we to are have. Peacekeepers. We protect the mundane world from the threats of the supernatural. We help who we can, destroy ones we must, and recruit those who are willing. With you, I suppose we did all three. Uh, how long has the Anabad been around? As a whole, for thousands of years. But the New York Bridge has long- I think I- wait, I think I've already asked her some of this stuff. I will- You really detect falsehoods? I don't think we've yes. done that. Yes, lies and falsehoods make jinns uncomfortable. We cannot abide the sensation. Of course, the ability to detect a lie is often useful in the field. So I have accepted it. Ulster is in, no is in Northern Ireland. Interesting. She doesn't have an accent. Her mom was, did have a uh, red hair though, I think. Oh, I'm going to lie. I'm going to blatant lie. I did mention that a lie makes a gin very uncomfortable. Yeah, I think did it for fun. nails on a chalkboard, but inside your brain. Gins cannot abide to speak a lie, let alone listen to one. Ew. Um, what are me in the room? Who put I it there? I do not know. I am not being facetious. I honestly do not know. This building has housed many agents over the centuries, and they too have been given gifts. Photographs and portraits of loved ones, precious possessions long since lost. Magic we house. Question it. We merely accept it. I want to live in a house like this. For it. Um, any thoughts on the last mission? Harrison's death was not your doing. Do not blame yourself. All her Did choices were the result of selfishness and greed. They caught up with her. That is all. Uh, how's Vicky settling We've in? We spent the morning conversing. She seems quite eager, anxious to prove herself. I have seen her sort before. Recruits like her are the first to throw themselves into danger and are the first to get themselves killed. I have grown fond of her. I hope that does not happen. It's a nice house, a few too unnecessary curtains. There are like a lot. A lot of curtains, aren't there? Um, me. No. I will do. Thanks. Okay, I think I'm gonna. I want to go find Vicky. I want to see. We talk to this boy first, though. Hey there, you're awake. Needs a few more Sounds curtains. Like quite the Look, there's not. Any, there's not any curtains in here. Would pay good money for that. I love that he keeps three. Oh, you can't see him. I'm in the way. He doesn't keep one, not two, but three fire extinguishers in this room because he probably set shit on fire all the fucking time. Incredible. Um, hi, my decent You mean season. you didn't glance once at the Statue of Liberty? I guess you're a real New Yorker after all. But seriously, the brass ones on that guy, showing up in the middle of the harbor like he did. Supernatural creatures used to be more skittish. They worked in the shadows. They're getting braver, bolder, flexing their muscles in front of mundanes. And definitely was doing unchecked. that. He was definitely doing that. Well, we know where that leads, don't we? No, I, I don't. Where, where does it lead? People rising up. People falling down. Eli. Sorry, I'm not making a whole lot of sense, am I? Kinda, what kind of crack are you on, Many my boy? Many centuries ago, there was a fire mage. His name was Alden. He got bold, too. He killed people with his power. Whole villages, armies. Nobody could stop him. He was my great-grandfather. Oof, so that's yeah, an oof. I know where this leads, and it's never anywhere nice. Anyway, see you at the meeting. 
Oh, but what if I Fine. want to chat with you? I want to know about Alden. Uh, actually, sure. he wouldn't talk about the wedding well, picture. I can't deny that's me. Almost 70 years ago that was taken. Could we not talk? Yeah, you still won't talk yeah. about it. Eli, tell me about your wifey. Or know about those waifus. Al Aldi? No, Alden. Alden. Yeah, I guess I can't casually mention an evil fire mage and not expect a follow-up question. Like I said, he's my great-grandfather. Or was. He's dead now. Um, are you as powerful as he was? No, I mean, I could be. I just mm. choose not to be. Mm -hmm. Alden got too bold and too powerful. Someone had to do something about it. Oh my god, so did you kill your grandfather? Together, they made a deal with the Fae of the Unseelie Court. Okay. How they did it, I don't know. But they turned themselves into hunters. I don't know if you guys have ever read the Dresden File books, but this man just embodies Dresden 100%. <laughs> kind of yeah, hunters. It's obvious by the name they gave themselves. They became the Hunters of Alden. Infused with unimaginable power. They were dedicated to one purpose and one purpose only. Stopping and killing no. Alden by no. any means necessary. You're not getting back up here. Go. Um. They kill yep. him? Alden needed to die. He was, well, he was insane. No question. And after a long, bloody battle, they did it. Alden was dead. The hunters weren't done, not by a long shot. They decided all fire mages had to die. They've been doing it ever since. Are all fire mages as bad as Alden? That's gonna be mean. That's like saying he's evil. Yeah, Charles knows what I'm talking about. Doesn't isn't he like Dresden? Like fire wizard, unsealy court, all that good shit. No, he was the worst of us. But it Good series if you haven't if you haven't read it. When my power manifested, they were drawn to me like a homing beacon. They wanted to kill me. Mandana and Kalash found me just in time. They helped me fake my death through the hunters off Damn. the trail. Dramatic. And I've been here ever since. So yeah, monsters working out in the open never leads to anything good. People will fight back, one way or another, and innocents have to pay the price. Every time. Anyway, see you at the next meeting, I guess. I guess. Okay. You got it. I think we're done talking to him. Oh, she's in here. I was gonna say, where is- Oh, wait, wait, wait! Oh, uh, too late. So this it's place is real. It's all real. <sighs> you know, when I got up this morning, I thought I dreamt it all. But everything's changed. People are remembering. Remembering that people died. I heard Vinny crying all night. Oh, he doesn't understand. How that's could he? so sad. I want to tell him, but that would be a really bad idea. Anyway, I'm ready to get to work. It's really fucking sad. Um, hold on. Right. I this picture. I just want to. Yeah. So yeah, she's a ginger. Okay. Look at that pirate queen. Man, that'd be so badass. Wish I could claim that one of my parents Yo. was a pirate queen. Um. Let's see. We are you settling okay. in? Okay, we'll just start just at the top. Show me the monsters, and I'll take them out. Gonna be working with right me again. Back at you. Just don't shoot me again or nothing. Oh, mm -mm. no. Looks like I've got seniority over you now. Yeah, ha -ha. Don't let it go to your head. You still have a lot to learn. <laughs> Is that a gin joke? Very good. Very good pun. Ten out of ten. See yourself out. <laughs> How's Donnie okay. doing? He's super pissed. He's not sure what happened, but he knows he was tricked. He's doing his best to make it right. Not that it really can be made right. Um, what's happened on Staten Island since the we left? The station's a madhouse. All the victims' families are flooding the place, demanding answers. The cops don't know what to say. You'd think I'd feel a bit of, I don't know, vindication or Maybe whatever. Maybe we should have let that chick stay here. On. Brainwash the people a little bit longer. Um... What are you talking about? I know your mom is a pirate queen. What you know about my family? Uh, any thoughts on the I last I can't change what happened to all those people, but if I can stop it from happening to anyone else, I'm ready and Napster. raring to go. I don't think my mom ever knew that Napster existed. 
I also never used Napster. That one missed me for some reason. So did LimeWire. Everybody was like downloading songs off of Lime LimeWire and like ending up with porn and shit. I was just over here ripping shit off of YouTube, man. I tell you, it's always been my go-to. I can't change what happened to all those people, but if I can stop it from happening to anyone else, I'm ready and raring to go. Right. right. Um. Please do. No, I don't want to touch your stuff. <laughs> Hi. Me. When was this city founded? 1624. Yes, I was just a child, but it was around that. Jesus. LimeWire into deep sum 41.exe. Jesus. LimeWire was already the shit days when all the networks were swarmed with viruses. Yeah. LimeWire frost or Kaza good times. <laughs> if we run into pixies in this game and bribe them with pizza, we will know that the fire guy is here, Justin. I remember that scene. It was good. <laughs> I need to read more of Justin. I am not by any means caught up. I think I'm on like book eight or nine. And I know that like 15 or 16 just came out. All right, let's talk to this man. I have been reading the reports of your last mission. It has been a long time since I have seen one of the merfolk. To hear they are so changed distresses me greatly. Changed in what way? The creature in the report is almost unrecognizable from the people I once knew. The merfolk once lived in harmony with humanity. This is several thousand years ago, of course, but they were peaceful, playful, loyal to their allies. All they asked in return was to live in peace. Now I hear they are fighting for their lives, fighting wars, building armies. <sighs> I suppose our world is not the only one which has evolved. Regardless, one must not live in the past. If you are ready, we will start the meeting. Uh, AJ, that is absolute horse trash. Can you sue a post office? Because fuck that. I agree. <laughs> I am glad to see you made it, Detective Santina. Um, you don't need to call me that. I'm no detective. Hey, uh, me neither. My daughter speaks the truth. For a full year, you were on a mission to ferret out the truth at great risk to yourself. Is this correct? Yeah. Who else was gonna do it? Then it is settled. You are a detective. One who detects. <laughs> no more of it. Welcome aboard, Vicky. We could use another cop around here. We might not have the authority of the city of New York anymore, but we still got some tricks up our sleeve, don't we? Indeed. Now on to the matter at hand. The Jinn were great friends of the Merfolk once. I remember them quite fondly. I am grateful you let the general live, but not at the expense of Joy Harrison's life. Oh, we're talking about. She took her own life, father. Sometimes a nasty perp does you a favor and ices themselves. Saves paperwork and manpower, not to mention lives. What? Pulling that trigger made things better for everyone. I ain't gonna pretend otherwise. That was harsh, but truly spoken. Darn right. You all did good work last night considering the circumstances. But my question still stands. Why? Why is the demon doing this? What does it have to gain? We, uh, still don't know. Have you investigated the Bronx as instructed? No, not yet, Father. Then perhaps you will find our answers there. Maybe we missed a clue in Village Eye? A clue only a cop like Vicky could see. I don't see any cops, so I guess you'll have to settle for me. You all know your duty. Report back when you have new information. Meeting adjourned. Holy shit! Yeah. <laughs> you get used to that. Alright. I guess it's time to go. This choose two party members before choosing a destination. I have to choose? Ah, so shit. This is how you guys travel? By subway? It's well, all we have the budget for most of the time. Eli, for sure. Budget constraints. Yeah, I get that. But what about an emergency? I feel like emergency? I'll take her. 
She's not supernatural yeah, in any way. Say some monster is about to rip the mayor's arm off. But she needs some experience. Some Don't be foolish. Yeah, the mayor would just grow a new arm. Right. Stop shaving babies. Take over the postal service. Wait, what? I agree, AJ. There was definitely an it's oversight a somewhere. Long story. Never mind. I don't want to know. Um. This one? I think this is where we're supposed to be going, right? My dad used to tell me stories about this neighborhood. The Bronx is burning and all that. Hey, that had nothing to do with me. What? No, I was being, what do you call it? Figurative. Um, right. Sorry. You spend enough time with Mandana, you forget metaphors exist. Uh. All right. Add for some kind of historical drama, you're a bit out of touch as far as pop culture goes. A vile stench wafts from these tattered trash bags. MTA officer surveys the area, glowering over a cup of coffee. Is that man sipping a martini? That would be great, but no, unfortunately. It is a, uh... He's glowing over? Are you happy about his Evening, coffee? Folks. Marcus? Is that you? Santina. Long time no see. I thought you pulled the pin. I did. What does that Turns mean? Out, retirement doesn't suit me. Oh, okay. But what about you? I heard you uh had some trouble. Some, yeah. Working through it. Right, right. Glad to hear it. Uh, you two know each you other? Remember Marcus? He used to work the ferry. Yeah, I got to ride the boat all day while you cops did the real work. If I remember right, you stopped your fair share of creeps. Well, here's a secret. When your beat is a boat, the bad guy's got nowhere to go. That's true. You worked the ferry, what was it oh, like? It was a sweet gig in the summer. I'll say that much. Sunshine, free hot dogs from the commissary, 360 degree views of Lady Liberty. But in the winter, forget it. It got so cold and damp, my uniform would turn to ice. Uh oh. After five years of that, it was time for a lateral move. Subway might be filthy. <laughs> Bless Miro. Uh, lousy night to be out in the rain. Oh, damn, doesn't bother me much. Not as long as I have my jitter juice here. Jitter juice. Jitter juice. Oh, I will not refer to coffee as anything other than jitter juice from now on. Bless Fembogs. Thanks. Appreciate it. I've not heard the term pulled the pin for retiring. I've heard pull the handles. As in the ejection handles. Oh, like backpack handles? Or, sorry. Parachute, like parachute handles. To eject the parachute? Not backpack. The parachute isn't a backpack, but that's not what I meant. Good job, Brain. Um, have you seen anything strange I lately? Like subway lady. I see five strange things before noon. You're gonna Fair need point. to be a lot more specific Fair than point. that. Stay dry out there. Is that even possible? Alrighty. Go around the corner. Oh! Vision I'm time! I'm screwed. And this is kind of weird. Why am I telling you all this? Are we gonna start another cult? Uh, I have a face people trust. Just can't help yeah. it. Mm -hmm. Maybe you could run for mayor. Still doesn't solve my problem. I just don't know what to do. I knew that room at the Eddings house was too good to be true. I knew it! obvious what you need to do obvious to you maybe me i'm drawing a blank what do you suggest dana okay dana listen to me so is this a regular thing with her or what you can say that i'm thinking of packing a pillow for next time <laughs> thanks appreciate it you got any aspirin uh, no i don't think that would help with demon flashback visions in any case you Don't mind me. seem okay. Um, this girl seems troubled. I hope she's okay. Marty's just adjusting to demon Nobody visions. Can adjust to anything if it needs to. Heck, I've got fire magic in my blood. Anyway, the woman in the vision said something about the Eddings house. Shouldn't be hard to track down. I've had worse leads. Right. Let's go. 
Can I go in this shop? Fruits and veg. No? No phones? Okay, I can't go that way. Guess I just need to have that vision. Dozens of homes line Morgan Avenue. We're challenging the pavement oh. is all well and good, but we don't want to tell the whole neighborhood we're here. We need more information first. Once we know which door to kick, I'll help. Still not 100% sure what's going on in this game, but super glad I stumbled on the stream. Oh, I'm glad that you found us too, Wilkes. I appreciate you being here. Uh, I have a couple. Ooh, I'll take that brick. That's my brick. <laughs> all you need to know about this game is we're trying to find our past. Our, oh, ad, which, yeah. our past possession. Miz, thank you for gifting us up to Wilkes. Wilkes, welcome to the Mirror Superheroes. I hope you enjoy your emotes and your sub barrel. Feel free to use the Mirror Day at Amo emote, the little heart, uh, or the raccoon with the heart, to thank Fizz for gifting that sub. Fizz, thank you very much for gifting that sub to Wilkes. Wilkes, welcome to the superheroes. Love and chat for the new superhero. Just keep bringing the puns. We do like puns. I mean, everybody else here likes puns. I kind of just groan at them, but I groan with love, you know? Okay, maybe I need to go talk to this dude. You keeping out of trouble? Nope. That's what I'd like to hear. Welcome to the cult. Yes, we're very much about cults and raccoons and murder. <laughs> wow, that's a great pitch. Really good. Hey, Victor, welcome. I like puns, but I also like buns. It's close enough. It's a rhyme. I'll take it. You know where the Eddings place is? Now why would you be asking about that? Man, I don't know. I'm a cop. I'm looking into what happened. It's linked to the case I'm working on. That's one beat up badge you got there. Santina, this lady on the level. Sure. All right, then. I don't know what kind of case you're working, but if it's linked to the Eddings place, I don't want to know. Head west from here. Turn right on Morgan. This is the last house on the left. Thanks. Sure. You be careful out there. Thanks, my dude. Welcome to the cult. Enjoy the snacks. Cute place. Pretty typical if these things go. You did see Marcus's face, right? I don't think anything here is typical. We go around the back of the house <sighs> or is. up to the front door? Front door? Long time no see. Yes, indeed, Victor. How's it you going? You really think it How would be you? unlocked in this neighborhood? And I thought I'd try. We got a whole pan down. Look at this. Uh oh. Definitely thought it was gonna be help. Huh? Color me crazy, but yes, we. Yeah. Need the window is talking help. to us. Oh, good. Please. So I'm not going nuts. Get in here. All right, let me work on it. Doesn't work. Got some rose bushes. Go this way. So Eli, you used to be normal like me, right? I was an accountant. For real? That thing's got away. At least if you want in there, we're gonna have. All right, to just don't knock a man for trying. Empty. Oh, hey. Don't know what. Okay. All right. All right. Oh yeah. Oh wow. If that's your throwing arm, I'm glad you don't have your gun anymore. What a whiff. All right, you. Sorry, I have. Pick up the brick. Sorry. Fine, I'll pick up the brick. And you Sorry, use it. I have... So this veil thing you put on my gun, nobody will be able to hear it. It's more complicated huh. than that, but essentially, yeah. Right. Cool. You're throwing a rock like a girl. Although, wait, the gun is veiled, but that window isn't. Sorry. What? There we Nothing. go. That's better. Mind. Perfect. Right. Let me. <laughs> Thanks. Appreciate it. I, you, made it. I did. Who are you? 
I'm a ghost. It's a ghost. Woo! Uh, a ghost, how come I can't see you? Because I'm a ghost. Duh. Please hurry. Go this way. Good, good. This mask is terrifying. I don't like this house. I don't like any of what's going on here. Except for the screwdriver. I like that. I'll take that. Okay. Phone's dead. Nope. Not a fan of this. This is spooky. Boo. Cut that out. Sorry. Oh no. I made it sad. Quick. You can unlock the door from this side. Thanks, spoopers. Thanks, spoopers. Nailed it. There you are. I heard you talking. Is someone in there? Let's get nope. in and see for ourselves. Just a bizarre window writer. Come on in. Hi, guys. You made it. Okay, time to cut the crap. State your name now. What good is a name gonna do us? I'm AK. Is this gonna be like a teenager, a kid? AK is a ghost, apparently. Woo! Really? You don't act like any ghost I've ever seen. <laughs> That's because I'm special. I'm a special. Spirit guide. A spirit guide. You mean you're bound to a spirit medium? One close by? Yes. He's upstairs. He needs help. Go, 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 go. What if I touch this first? And this one. That dude had a great afro. Beautiful. The hell? It's just a plastic hula dancer. Sorry. She started pointing her gun at shit. It's this house. Something about it ain't right. My dad had one of those in his car. I wanted to shoot that one too. End of the hall. Hurry. I'll take a look around first. Got anything in the bowl? No. What about this picture? What about this room? Oh! Not that door. You won't let me. This one? Interesting. Can I take the hula dancer? Yep, that's mine now. This chick's standing in the way I can't see what the rest of the mirror says. Spooky. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. Courage to change the things I can. I too like to summon ghosts in my bathroom. To know the difference. Did the dog have an afro? Or you just mean the dog's better than the afro? That isn't helping. Living one day at a time. Enjoying one moment at a time. Accepting hardship as a pathway to peace. What if yeah. I just... Wait, wait. Yeah, yeah. What if I just leave? What if I just walk out of here? <laughs> not gonna stop me. All right. It's not talking to me anymore. Fuzzy and indistinct, it stares blankly ahead, barely noticing you're even there. Nice fluffy towels, just waiting for a relaxing bath. A uh, kitschy little bathroom decoration. Logan looks exhausted. You don't know how much longer he'll last. Spoilers. We don't know his name yet. Mirrored bathroom. Ceramic sink. Bubbly wallpaper. Okay. Um, hello? Oh, huh? He looks Are tough as shit. real? Or am I just hallucinating yes. from hunger? Uh, I'm real. My oh, name is Miro. What? Been here so long, I'm not sure what's real anymore. I've been here three days, I think. 
didn't think anyone would come. Well, we're here. I'm Eli, by the way. This is Vicky Santina. I'm Logan Brown. I could really use your help. Well, what do you need? Well, this house is haunted, for one thing. You don't say. We can see the ghosts from here. Hold on. You, you can see them. Yep. Like, actually see them. We just well, can't chat. Sure. Kind of. Ghosts all look the same, don't they? Just what do you mean? Uh, they look like gray floaty clouds. Clouds? No, no. That's not right at all. I see people. Two women, one man. They're confused and angry. Not exactly easy to talk to. Hold it. You can see them and talk to them? Yeah. So you're the one KK told us about. The bestower. Yeah, uh, that's me. You know your stuff. You're here to help these ghosts pass on. That's right. Only things went a bit wrong. What did you do? Crap. Oh, no, they're really angry. Easy. Easy now. Shh. Just relax. Okay. She's calm. For now. I kind of need to focus. Can you help me or what? Oh, don't worry, Logan. We'll help you. What do you need? Thank you. Here's the plan. I need to know their names. It's the best way to get through to them. Can you do that? Figure out their names? Sure. Funny lady. So we go pound the pavement, just like any other investigation. I guess. Whatever it takes. I'd go myself, but I'm kind of trapped. Thanks. Seriously. A little bit busy. Got it. Why can't KK figure out their names? Uh, you don't feel that tidiness was the inhabitant of the room's strong point. Dresser spilled over with rumpling clothes, bookcase of dry textbooks and a few dog-eared romance novels, image of an oppressive suburbia, neat houses crammed closely together, picture of a kitty, can I look at the picture of the kitty? Most important. Crucial to the investigation. No? Balls. Okie dokie. Uh, I think this is probably a good place to stop. We will search for their names tomorrow. The next stream is tomorrow. Um, well, since you're new here, my normal schedule is Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Uh, so not normally Wednesdays. Um, so the next stream will be tomorrow at our normal time. Uh, Thursday at 6 p.m. PST. Remember, we bumped it up an hour. Um, and we will continue with this. We will try to track down. Oh, I should probably save the game. That might be a good idea. Save. Yes. Um, we'll try to track down the names of the ghosties. We'll perform an exorcism. Probably. Maybe. I don't know. Thank you for the biddies. Well, it's wicked. I'll do my best to catch it. Sounds good. Thank you so much for those biddies. I appreciate those. Um, we'll go ahead and do our thank yous and our good nights. Uh, thank you guys so much for being here with me for more Unavowed, even if you aren't following the story in the least. I appreciate you guys being here and chatting with me. Um, let us do our credits. Push that button. Perhaps a tune or two. There we go. Awesome sauce. Uh, alrighty guys, Wilkes, thank you for the biddies. Thank you for those biddies. I appreciate them. Fizz, thank you for gifting a sub to Wilkes. Wilkes, welcome to the Mirror Superheroes. Uh, Wilkes, thank you for more biddies. Thank you for that ab stab. And Wilkes, thank you for the follow as well. Welcome to the Mirror's Heroes. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate that you like it here. I hope to see you again tomorrow. Fizz, thank you for gifting a sub to Epic. Epic, happy 15 months. Happy 15 months. And that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for being here with me for more unavowed. Uh, and I hope to see you guys tomorrow. AJ, I'm really sorry about your mail, by the way. Um, I hope that you have a better a better day ahead of you. Wait, do we normally follow the story in a mirror game? Of course. Of course we do. Always. Uh, alrighty, guys. That's it for me. I will see you tomorrow. Until then, have a wonderful Thursday. Or Friday, if you're in the future. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!
on the spot. Don't be scared of the milkshake. Give it all you got. Express yourself. Don't make yourself stop. Express yourself. You'll be feeling on top.